The first thing we have to understand is what is anxiety? Anxiety is a general term for several disorders such as worry, apprehension, or nervousness. These disorders affect how we feel and behave and can sometimes manifest into real physical symptoms. Some symptoms that someone may experience but are not limited to, having trouble sleeping, feeling weak or tired, sweating, trembling, hyperventilating, or even having the urge to avoid something that may trigger the anxiety. Well, what causes someone to have anxiety? Well, it all starts in the brain. Well, the amygdala to be exact. The amygdala is a pair of almond-shaped structures located deep within the brain. The amygdala is part of the limbic system and is responsible for controlling fear and all other emotional reactions in the brain. The amygdala then communicates with the hypothalamus, which triggers the flight or flight response within the brain. The body then goes into overdrive and produces many of the symptoms we may see in someone having a panic attack. Now at this point, you may be asking yourself, what can those who suffer from anxiety do to lessen it? Well, while there are medications out there, today we'll be focusing on plain old exercise. Um, I find being uh, or con consistent with my schedule, especially being physically active, helps reduce the amount of stress or at least my tolerance to different stressors throughout the day. Um, the meditation in the morning helps me so establishing a morning routine has been extremely beneficial and then just having different coping mechanisms throughout the day if I need to utilize those such as journaling or just taking the time to take a few meaningful and mindful breaths. The definition of physical activity is any bodily movement that is produced by the skeletal muscles that require energy expenditure. Everyone has the ability to lead a more physically active life but many choose not to. There are many pros to being more physically fit, such as reducing the risk of heart disease, improving self-confidence, sharpening your memory, and many more. The one we'll be focusing on today is how it can help reduce one's anxiety. Researchers at Preston University actually discovered that people who exercise have a better time dealing with and reducing their own anxiety. It's also proven that exercise promotes the growth of neurons in the ventral hippocampus in the brain, which is responsible for regulating the body's anxiety. People who don't exercise have been proven to have an increase of what is known as early immediate genes. These are short-term genes that are fired when a neuron is activated. People who are physically active did not have an increase of these genes. Instead, they had an increase of a neurotransmitter known as GABA, which is responsible for keeping the excitable parts of the brain in check. If you think about the body's flight or fight response, someone who is physically active won't require the body to produce these excitable genes because they're already in medical physical standing and already have the energy and strength to get themselves out of dangerous situations. So, now you've seen how living a more physically fit life can help reduce stress and anxiety. Whether you follow these steps or just let it pass by is up to you.